Hey everybody, it's our dark comic nerd again, and I am going to keep this short tonight. Uh, I just got back from work. Uh, it's very early in the morning. It's 3.10 over here in uh, the Eastern Time Zone. So I was going to do a broadcast tonight, but I am pretty much wiped out, and that's after having an energy drink before I left work. Um, and, uh, I'm still pretty wiped out. The weather tonight is very drizzly. It's very foggy out. It actually was a very risky ride home. Um, so the thing is, is that I, um, I'm just kind of wiped like to the floor at this point. So I won't be doing this for as long as I'd like, but I am going to just give it a quick discussion and then we will jump back into this at some other time uh in a future date not too long down the road because we've got to kind of do this while the iron's hot basically what you guys are looking at right now on the screen is the uh and i do not recommend using kotaku or polygon and a few other places as reference but these guys are the only one that had a article that talked about the original prices in comparison to the new one so what's going on online guys is everybody's pretty cheesed off so i wanted to throw in my two cents about the new uh, Nintendo expansion pack for the new Nintendo Switch Online. So, what happened today was there was the Nintendo Direct for Animal Crossing. And one of the things that came out was the fact that they talked about um, if you got the expansion pack for Nintendo Switch um, Online, which is this new thing they have with the, the Sega games and the N64 games, not all of them, but for what you're going to pay, you'd think they would be all of them. Um, and they are offering some free goodies, and one of which is the new Animal Crossing. Um, what's it called again? Let me double check, guys. It's called Happy Home Paradise, I think. Which basically, watch the Animal Crossing Direct. It'll explain more. There was like a five or ten minute thing about it. And this thing goes for $24.99 um, regular paid DLC. But they were offering it as one of the free things if you got the... Well, trust me. We won't even get into any more of it. I'm going to cut myself off right there. This is something that Nintendo... And this is coming from, I believe, Nintendo in Japan. Not over here in America where this would be pretty much par for the course because Nintendo in America is a bunch of scumbags. I mean, heaven forbid they should even ever mark down a game... Uh, from Nintendo. No, 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 no. Smash Brothers has been out for ever, for forever. Uh, the new Smash Brothers Ultimate, and I don't care how many new characters you put out. Um, they're hitting people up for you know major cost for the DLC, and the thing is, is that they can't even reduce the cost of the game down even a little bit, none at all. But nope, they're not because it's Nintendo and because they're idiots. They're big idiots. They're the only company that does this. Most other people, even if it's your headliner games, they do not do this BS. Um, they do these player choice games or they realize that down the road, um, the game is going to do either not as good with it comes to sales or it's finally basically sold to everybody on the market and they reduce the cost down. But Nintendo is a bunch of jerks. They just keep peddling it at full price forever. Forever. So by the time the scalpers and everybody else gets their hands on it, they're like, well, to make a profit on this game that I had to pay full price on, I'll have to gouge people for their college tuition. So it's pretty stupid. So speaking of having to gouge people for their college tuition... What we got going on right now is Nintendo has decided, if you look at this article, guys, to raise the cost of both their, well, yeah, there's just two levels. There's a standard right now, a standard um, of uh, Nintendo Online. Excuse me, guys, I'm about ready to beat my cat in the head. She can't accept the fact that I'm on my tablet talking to you guys, and she's trying to get up in my face. Anybody ever used a laptop or something like that and the cat just has to get in your face and get on the keyboard and all this stuff like that cats have this innate ability where it's like you're doing something important and they're like cat sense goes off i must be a pain in the ass so pardon me if i have to stop talking for a minute guys to smack my cat in the head because that might be coming up because she's just 
pushing her big fat head. She didn't want anything to do with me five seconds ago, but now since I'm talking to you guys on here, oh yeah, I'm the center of the universe. So I love how that works with cats. Jealous, jealousy. Um, so the thing is, is that right now, guys, if you look at this article, Nintendo wants $49.99 for an individual membership and $79.99 for a family membership, which includes up to eight accounts for 12 months. Now, these are the 12-month things. Now, that's comparable to originally it was only $20 um, if I'm looking at this. So $20. In comparison to 50, and this is where most people are bitching about it, but where I'm really seeing it, where they're doing their bullshit, is look at this for a family account, which is what me and a couple other people I know do, which is what's going to hit us up. Um, now, this is not something that's a, you know locked in where you have to do it. This is only if you want to get the upgraded stuff and you want to get this free this and free that. I don't think it's worth it. That's just me. But, my friends, that we all go in on this so we can all get an online service. If they want to do it, I will, you know, chip in the cost for a year. But, this is ridiculous. And everybody's talking about it, and it is ridiculous. Because it's right up there with streaming services and what everybody else is doing. Disney is charging more for their stuff in their parks. Everybody's charging more. So you lost money during COVID. I'm going to say this, pardon my language, but... Fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck you, Nintendo. Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you, Netflix. Fuck you, Hulu. Fuck you all. I'm sorry. Uh, I hope that there's not little, you know, eight-year-olds listening to this, but it, my subscribers are definitely more in the older category. So I think you can withstand it if I say that. Um, all these rat bastards that are jacking their prices up because they made a loss of profits during last year's COVID crap. You know what? Gouging the rest of us during an economic crisis is kind of freaking stupid. But once again, I want to go back and announce that this is probably based upon in Japan. I cannot say for sure that Nintendo of America is the one making up these prices, so I don't know what's going on. But I will point out that you can see it clearly for yourselves, guys, right there. Below the Nintendo Switch expansion pack link where it says will cost $49.99 for individual membership and $79. Okay, excuse me, guys. Cut it out, Kitty. You need to stop being in my face. Um, I had to give her a little smack in the head. My friend knows how it works. He's got dogs. So now I didn't hit her hard, hard, but I got enough to get off me and stop pushing her big fat face into my tablet so anyway guys because i want to still keep this short because i want to go to bed um if you look at what the original cost was set at 1999 and then going up by more than double more than double is ridiculous and then a family one so that people can actually because wouldn't you imagine most people are going to, you know, they're hyping this big Mario party. Oh, play with you. And it's like, oh, well, I guess if you want to do it, you know, if, if you want, if you want to share, if you want to have more than one switch in the house and you want everybody to be able to not have to share one Nintendo switch. So to everybody, it's like when somebody wants to watch Netflix. Well, you know what guys, it's better sometimes. Thank goodness Netflix allows you to have multiple people. I think it's like, what, two, three? Um, and I'm sure it depends on what tier of service you have. But it's like, wouldn't everybody be beating the crap out of each other? Having like mud pit wrestling so we could see, okay, who's going to watch what? No, you have multiple stuff in a household so that little Susie can watch what she wants in her room. Billy can watch what he wants and mom and dad can watch what the hell they want. In different rooms. So Nintendo probably knows. Look at the difference in price. They jumped hardcore on everything. And they probably know most people are going to use the family one. Now, like I said, this is only for a year. But guys, trust me. I'm going to tell you right now. If you can do the math on what's going on in for a year. And then look at what you would have to pay month to month. I'm betting month to month is going to be more expensive. Because usually when you pay for a whole year, 
they give you some kind of discount. So can you imagine what the month to month cost is going to be? But it does say, and I want everybody to note this, will cost $49.99 for individual membership. That's an individual men membership, but I presume based on what it is, it's for a year. So 50 bucks for a year. And then $79.99 for a family, eight accounts for a year. So we haven't even really hit what it's going to be if you're paying month to month. Now you would probably presume you're going to pay less, but you're going to do it over the course of 12 months. So most likely if you're paying month to month, they're going to gouge you pretty good, which means they're going to kind of blackmail you in to try and kind of like, well, you don't have to sign up for the year ahead of time, but if you don't, <laughs> you know, so it's like, this is pretty rotten. This is pretty rotten. So the thing is, guys, I wanted to just bring this to you and we will get, dive into this when more and more details show up. Um, and I want to get into it a little bit more about um, some of the stuff. There's a whole list of what you can get for games if you get this stuff and blah, 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 blah. But that's the basic gist of what I want you guys to know about right now before I pack it in for the night. Um, I want you guys to be able to see how bad this is and know that I am totally against this. I am totally against this. I currently um, share a family account with somebody else. And the thing is, is that um, this is going to put hardship on them. Um, and I find this atrocious that Nintendo does this um, when you can obviously look at what's going on over here and know that the whole country is going down the shitter. It's going down the shitter. American is going down the shitter and um, we maybe are not the biggest group of individuals as far as the largest community of individuals to use Nintendo Switch Online. I can imagine more people in Japan use it. But I'd like to see what the comparable costs are in Japan. I'd like to see if it's cheaper for the for where the country of origin is, because I wouldn't be surprised. But this is this is highway robbery. And um I think a lot of people are going to tell Nintendo to take their expansion pack and shove it up their ass. Let's just be honest with them. I think everybody's going to tell Nintendo, you can take your expansion pack and cram it with the Sun Note Shine. And people are going to pirate the games. Um, you know, I want, you know, if, you know, uh, not I, as in me personally, but I, as in hypothetical person, want to play Sega and N64. You can get emulators quite easily. And then pirate the games and play them without having to pay Nintendo a damn thing. And you can get all the games. All of them. Rather easily. So, really, Nintendo, how many people do you think are going to fall for this? For the price you're peddling? You're screwed. You're screwed. You're stupid. And you're screwed. But, we'll see. I'd like to see what the numbers show later on for how many suckers buy into this. But I'm telling you guys, it doesn't sound like a lot of money. 80 bucks for a year. But like I said, I'm not exactly thinking about what it's going to cost the people that are doing it the whole year. I'm thinking about if you're paying month to month, oh boy, what's it going to cost you for 12 months? And I bet it's going to be a lot more than 80 bucks for a family account because they usually like to push you into paying for the year in advance because then they've got all your money right now. Yep, as my good friend Chunky Jeffrey says, oh yeah, they've got all your money that they can keep putting in the bank and making um, uh, making interest on. So, but that's it, guys, for now. I just wanted to say that um, I believe that Nintendo um, took out a very big proverbial... Um, what's the closest thing I could think of? Not even a bullet. More like... They aimed a targeting laser from space and just nuked, nuked the crap out of themselves from orbit. But I could be wrong. And this could end up being something that many, many suckers out there pay money for. 
Um, and I'm not going to tell people the comparable savings to just emulating games and all this stuff. Um, you want to go out and pay 80 bucks a month or excuse me, 80 bucks for a year, just so you can have the occasional free thing and, um, play N64 and Sega games, which a lot of people can probably still do. Or like I said, emulate now you go right ahead. Good luck with that. You know, it's probably the same yo-yos out there who are currently not working for a living. That's not talking about my friend Junkie Jeffrey. That's talking about people that are trying to suck off the um, welfare system and suck off the um, uh, unemployment system illegally for no other reason other than they're a bunch of lazy fucks. So the thing is, is that, you know what? These are the people that probably aren't even paying their electricity and aren't paying their mortgage, and aren't paying their um, rent. And the thing is, is that they're pretty disgusting. And if you're shelling out 80 bucks a year for this crap, instead of making sure that you are taking care of your needs, especially with the the shortage going on in this economy. Like I said, this is all you know me talking about here in America. If you're not taking care of your own butt, and you're shelling out 80 bucks, even though I know it's over the course of a year, for the whole year if you're shelling out 80 bucks already for this stuff you're a blithering idiot and i understand a lot of fans out there are going to be like but it's n64 and it's sega i'm not going to tell you to emulate stuff guys i'm not going to tell you to get emulators and i'm not going to tell you to pirate stuff but what i am going to tell you to do is is use some common sense 80 bucks for this. And I know that I'm talking about where I use 80 bucks to pay for stuff for my fake grand order game all the time. And it's not a year. It's, it's like maybe occasionally it's week to week, but here's the thing, guys, I've paid my bills. My car is only like 50 bucks a month because I pay a family member for it. I have money to give to my friends when they need it. I give money to God, not on a regular basis. I suck at tithing because I don't go to church, but I donate to charities and I need to start doing it more on a regular basis. But I can tell you without tooting my own horn that I just donated to a charity recently because God graced me with extra money from making overtime at work and an increase in pay down at work. And there's another increase coming. So I make sure I take care of things like that first. I don't tithe regularly like I should, giving the 10% to God first. But the thing is, is that, you know what, guys? I also don't sit back and I don't blow it. Or if I do look like I'm blowing it on stuff, then I make sure that I have enough money to take care of the important things and take care of the important people in my life too. So the thing is, is that, you know what, guys? The thing is, is that I hope... That when it comes down to this, and this is just the personal message side I have of this. We're done talking about the comparison and everything like this. This is just me begging you guys to use common sense. Because I've seen so little of it used ever since everybody started getting stimulus checks. And they're they're pretty much, I think they've, they've, they've hit the... Guys, I hope you enjoyed those stimulus checks. You know why? Because you... If you look at gas prices right now and you look at the shortage on the shelves and stuff and you look at food and you look at all this stuff, what it's costing, and you haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg, I hope you enjoyed all that free money. I hope you enjoy how much extra money your job might be giving you. I hope you enjoy sitting on your can if that's what you're doing, just raking in the unemployment because guess what? All that money you have, all that money you got from the stimulus, I hope you, hope you had a fun time with it because... It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad really soon. So just watch out, guys. This is this is not what I would call a scam. But I would really, really, on a personal opinion, just my personal opinion, look at what Nintendo is doing and say, look, Nintendo, we don't want to pay you 80 bucks. Maybe they drop it down to like 60 Maybe they got some kind of discount thing around Christmas. Who knows what they're going to do. But guys, this is not worth it. It's just my opinion. But a lot of other people on YouTube are, and a lot of people are pissing off. I've been hearing 
things. I wish I had that up. We'll do that in another video. But I've been hearing all kinds of stuff from people on Twitter and everything just ripping Nintendo a new one. You don't want to know why? Because this is a rip. It's a rip off. Like I said, it's not a scam. You know what you're getting into. Hence, not a scam. But I'm not going to tell people what to do. But I am going to beg you. This economy here in America is going in the flusher. So before you shell out 80 bucks to get a couple of extra things, think about it first. Because we do not have to cave in to Nintendo when they do this crap. Because they know exactly what they're doing, just like Netflix and all those other dirtbags did when they jacked their prices up. Remember, folks, 30 bucks to watch a new movie on Disney Plus. Half the year you're still paying the either month to month subscription fee or the yearly subscription fee. And then you're still paying extra. So remember, folks, if you don't have common sense, Trust me, find a hammer, beat yourself in the head until you suddenly realize that spending 80 bucks for online service on Nintendo with a few extra doohickeys is dumb. When, you, when you've hit yourself enough times that you've realized that $80, paying twice as much, paying pretty much two and a half times the price of the current rate is highway robbery. Once you figure that out, you can stop hitting yourself. But until then, you should find a rubber mallet and keep hitting yourself until you realize how stupid it is. Because it is. And I'm doing you a favor right now, guys, because I'm telling you, 80 bucks might not seem like a lot for a year, but if we all came into this now, What's to guarantee it ain't going to be $100 or more next year? So just keep that in mind. This has been the Dark Comic Nerd with my preliminary video, guys, on this. The next time, we'll be doing it with a real live screenshot of me so you can see me giving Nintendo the finger and waving my hands around and really being pissed off because trust me, guys, this is not even me being remotely mad. Because, like I said, I'm pretty wiped from work. And this is nothing compared to the video I'll be doing at some point down the road. Oh, yeah. This is just to get you guys thinking. But in the meantime, guys, as I said before, this has been the Dark Comic Nerd. Bringing you my opinion on the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. Tra highway Train Robbery. And you heard me. I said highway train robbery. Because this is not just highway robbery. This is robbing the stagecoach. Robbing, robbing the train. This is stopping people on the highway in the Old West. And bandits and people robbing people blind. And this is people stopping people in the middle of the forest on a, on a bridge and saying, we're going to beat you up if you don't pay a toll. This is some of the sleaziest crap I have ever seen, and Nintendo cannot justify it. And like I said, guys, come back for another video down the road, and I will tell you my opinion about why Nintendo cannot justify this shit. This is... I, I'm going to just save most of the good stuff, guys, but I'm going to say one thing. You... Think about this. PlayStation and Xbox, when they released their new console systems, started jacking the price up of their games by an extra 20 bucks. But yet Nintendo didn't. Can anybody see a correlation between what's going on now and the fact that they didn't jack the prices up like the other gaming companies did? Can anybody think about what Nintendo might be doing to make the difference up so they don't look as bad as PlayStation and Xbox. Can anybody think about it? I'll just leave you with that thought. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I'll catch you on the next one.